is Steve with Solutions for Power here with Miguel Ramos again, and uh, we're uh, talking about a lot of uh, different products you guys have probably seen on other videos. If you haven't, check out the uh, interviews with all the different product managers. And today we're going to talk about NS hosting and VPS. Uh, thanks for being here, Miguel. No problem. Uh, so, NS hosting, uh, the br the brand, the rebranding. What's uh What's changed? Anything changed, or is it still the same package, or what people are used to? Uh, the packages are what people are used to. Uh, the names of the packages have changed. Um, in the NS hosting family, we've got the shared product and the VPS product. Okay. Uh, the shared product, which is called NS Hosting Shared, comes in three flavors, three packages of varying speeds and feeds. Uh, okay. The uh, small, uh, the large, and the unlimited package. Mm -hmm. uh, the NS Hosting VPS product um, has uh, three different feeds as well and uh, it is I guess the difference between the two products is that the shared hosting product uh, is uh, very is is uh, very much geared towards uh, uh, people who might need a website builder mm -hmm. uh, people who need to upload their site but they don't need to have the level of customization that comes with a VPS product when you've got a VPS pro product uh, you're, very, you're basically a very advanced, uh, technical, techie person mm -hmm. who is looking to run a server, okay. uh, who's looking to have full root level control uh, of uh, his particular server, and all the customization that goes along with that. Um, but we don't recommend that product for people that are not uh, savvy enough to, uh, to use it to its full advantage, because it just might be overkill for you. Is that de that's a dedicated server? It's a virtual private server. Okay. So. Uh, it's a, it's a slice of a server, but it's your own slice. Uh, right. To you, it seems like it's your own server, uh, and uh, you can do whatever you want with it. You so people heard oh, Okay, so people heard the term cloud computing. Would that be kind of the in the cloud as a virtual server, kind of in a cloud? Server, yeah, in a sense, absolutely. Dedicated resources, dedicated processor, absolutely. Dedicated memory. Okay. Um, so with with hosting, uh, what are the features you get with like hosting versus the VPS package? Anything in particular you want to maybe like extend like should know about? Sure. Uh, well, um, on the, uh, the, the, the shared hosting platform, um, you get uh, a suite of programming languages. You can get, you can get uh, that offering in either the Windows or the Unix flavor. Okay. Uh, so you get FTP access uh, to upload your files. Uh, you get a suite of programming languages to use to develop your site, like PHP, uh, JSP, uh, Ruby, .NET, uh, okay. those types of languages. Uh, you get a library of open source applications, kind of the top 30 most popular open source applications that you can easily install with a one-click uh, interface. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, you've got uh, basically a platform, and you, you know, you get a domain and some emails to go along with it uh, to kind of round up the offering. And you've got basically a, a platform that you can easily upload your files to and establish your, you know, your custom website. On the other hand, uh, the VPS product is based on the Parallels Virtuoso offering. Um, and what that is, it's a, it's a virtual private server offering where uh, you're basically getting a, um, a Linux operating system on a particular virtual private server okay. that uh, you've got root access to. You can log on to, install whatever you like on. Mm -hmm. um, and so you've got the, the maximum, basically, uh, flexibility for the people that are uh, very technology savvy and need that flexibility. That's great. That's great. So, with uh, where the products evolve so so much, where what are some things people can look forward to that are coming up in the next you know month, you know, few months, or in the future? Uh, yeah, uh, we've got uh, a couple things in the cooker. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the one that's coming out quite shortly um, is uh, and it's hosting for WordPress. Uh, it is a hosting product very much geared towards WordPress users, towards bloggers. Uh, that tend to be, um, th that are avid, uh, that are, are uh, uh, very familiar with the WordPress product, which is a brand that is uh, synonymous with blogging these days. Uh, nice. And what we're trying to do is uh, create a, uh, a, a package that's targeted at these bloggers at a very reasonable price. Okay. So the idea right. is basically to take out uh, all the frills that come with hosting, mm -hmm. um, because you, you're, you, you know, your need, the, your, the customer need is specifically for blogging. Mm -hmm. um, take out all the frills, make it really easy to set up the blog, and uh, and offer as much helpful information as possible to uh, allow uh, bloggers to maximize uh, their WordPress installations. Um, 
as much as possible. Well, WordPress is, I mean, easy to install them. You basically set up, you know, a couple parameters, hit the button, and then go. But I think the hardest thing for a lot of people is the database. Like, what what do they put in? What's the title? How do they name? Because I think that's yeah the the it's still you know even though it's easy to set up, you still have to have a little technical awareness in setting up a database and pushing it to that. We've so. taken that all away oh, that's um, in the that's sense great. that uh, when you purchase the product, mm -hmm. uh, you log in. Uh, you right away get into the blog configuration section mm -hmm. and all you really need to have is a username, a password, an email address and you're good to go. And uh, we do all the work for you in the background mm -hmm. uh, and get the blog going um, as soon as uh, as soon as possible. That's great. And, and anything else we should look forward to? Is that, is that in the coming months. So our, our WordPress product is coming out soon. We're uh, just okay. QAing it right now. Great. Um, in, the, um, in the coming months we will be releasing and is hosting SharePoint. And so it hosts a SharePoint solution. Exactly. So what that is, for the people that don't know, it's a uh, Microsoft SharePoint uh, hosting. And SharePoint is a collaboration solution that Microsoft makes uh, to uh, allow uh, people to organize their data, allow people to run an intranet or a team site mm -hmm. or a place where people can share documents. Um, allow people to co collaborate basically. It's the Microsoft solution, we will be offering it. You will get um, email addresses and a domain to go along with it. Mm -hmm. And um, we're very excited about that, uh, especially That's as right. uh, uh, SharePoint 2010 comes out next year. Okay. Uh, we'll be offering that as soon as we can. Uh, mm -hmm. I've, I saw the, uh, I've been uh, looking at some of the, the material on uh, SharePoint 2010 and the uh, the ease of use and the way they've redesigned the interfaces, and uh, we're very much looking forward to be able to offering that as soon as it's available. So we're very excited about the possibilities for SharePoint. We think our users are going to uh, like it, and over the next year, it's just going to get better. That's great. Well, th I, I appreciate that. That's fantastic. We're looking forward to seeing, you know, all the new developments, and you know. So uh, I guess if there's if there's any really nothing else to cover except just uh, everybody out there, if you haven't, you know. Check out the check out uh, networksolutions.com and check out the NS hosting package and see if it might be right for you. And uh, reach out to us on the blog if you have any questions. And uh, if you found this video not on the blog, go to blog.networksolutions.com. And uh, so this is Steve for Solutions of Power. And thanks for being with us, Miguel. Thanks. thanks. All right. Have a nice one.